What's up Minecraft? This is MC Rep, and as we know, Minecraft has added lots of new things to Minecraft. For example, we've got in crimson trees and warp trees. Both of these grow nether warp blocks and warp warp blocks. And these blocks are made of nether warts and warped warts? Um, unfortunately, no, at this point in time, Minecraft has not added warped warts, blue nether bricks, or any related uses to Minecraft. As I mentioned in a previous video, I think Warp Wars would be a great addition to Minecraft and it just happens to make sense if we look at the counterparts between the blue and red entities in the nether. I wanted to use this video to expand on this idea and review some other ideas I've seen online just so we can see all the potential that Warp Wars have in Minecraft. Expanding on what I said before, as a counterpart to Nether Wars, Warp Wars will grow on soul soil. Given that the nether update seeks to make nether more livable, using Warp Wars to make potions without access to overworld items supports this. This could be done in two ways. First, if brewing stands are updated to be crafted with blackstone, then hypothetically potions can be made using them, uh, maybe using bottles from piglins. The problem is finding something to fill the bottle with. Perhaps the potion of fire resistance could be used as the base, since that is what piglins will barter for with you. We put the warp ward inside to make the new base potion, and then start putting in items from there to make everything else. A second option could be using lava from cauldrons. When that feature was added a long time ago, I figured it was a hint towards new potions, but maybe I was wrong. Uh, perhaps throwing the new ward inside the cauldron will cause the lava to change slowly until it's ready for more items to be put in. Then the player could jump in to get the effect, or use a bottle or even a bucket to extract it. Looking at one of the other ideas, they said warp warp blocks still have no crop variant, and they think that should change. There should be a warp counterpart that would not only be useful in brewing, but also decoration. It would be found as a rare find in pickling barters, and rarely dotting the farms and nether fortresses. It could be used for confident potions, which will make potions stronger and last longer as the new base, without using redstone or glowstone. Antidote potions that can help remove one specific potion by brewing the warp warp with that potion to make a cure. So for example, if they wanted an antidote to swiftness, I could use it to clear myself of swiftness and keep all other effects. And it could also be used for blue nether bricks, just like how red nether bricks are crafted with the nether warts, what warts would be used to craft this one. And it would include partial blocks variants as well. Looking at this idea, I kind of really like it. The idea of having a more powerful way of bringing potions is pretty cool. I think that if we don't need redstone or glowstone to make a stronger potion, that this could very well outclass regular potion brewing if this if this uh, wart is renewable. If we can grow it ourselves or uh, if it's not rare enough for the piglin barters, then I feel like it would very well outclass regular potion brewing in that. And I don't really want that kind of power creep. But I think the idea is pretty cool. Antidote potions can very well be useful. They seem pretty difficult like if you wanted to have a good amount of protection against anything like in pvp you would have to bring a lot of them perhaps unless like you're in a scenario where only one would be used i'm not sure how that could work too well but and then there's some potions that might not have antidotes like instant damage potions probably don't have an antidote potion um but i think that it's a pretty cool idea nonetheless and of course nether brick blue nether bricks are pretty darn cool Looking at another idea, they say there are red nether warts and red nether wart blocks. Since there are warp wart blocks, wouldn't it make sense to add a warp wart item? You could plant it on soul sand like normal nether warts and you could obtain it from nether sprouts that already exist in the warp forest. You should be able to harvest it and use it to make nether blue nether bricks. Alternatively, you could use it in a brewing stand to create a warp potion. It functions similar to the aqua potion, but all potions brewed from it would already be corrupted. So brewing warp potions with a glistering melon would give an instant damage potion instead of instant health potion. I gotta say, I really like this idea too. I'm saying it from nether sprouts uh, would be pretty helpful. It definitely gives some use to the nether crops, uh, to, to I guess the nether sprouts specifically. So I think outside of just bone meal. So I think that's really cool. Giving them uses is always something that's positive to me. Uh, having a easier way to get the opposite of potions is pretty cool. Uh, definitely not be, not having to go through the fermented spider eye route after creating one is helpful if you happen not to know how to make it immediately. Um, but I think that given that we do have another method of doing this already, it's slightly hard to justify. Um, I think I think it definitely would be pretty cool. So if you want a specific potion, but a particular item of way of making the potion normally is hard to make, you can just use the warp wart instead of trying to use the fermented spider eye. Um, but 
don't know, I can't think of on top of my head how it affects all the potions and every specific um, creation in general. And so I would fear that it also might ca cause a power creep. But I do think this is pretty cool. Um, giving Nether Sprout's use outside of Bone Mill is pretty good. And uh, being able to harvest it, of course, is always positive. Uh, with that being said, I would love to see some more ideas. If you guys find any other ideas, definitely let me know. I'm going to post these links with uh, relevant pictures in the description, so please make sure you check that out and vote on these, because I think these were here first, of course, so definitely give them credit for their great ideas. Um, and if hopefully Minecraft does decide to, or Mojang does decide to add these to the game, and I think that whatever they come up with will probably be just as cool as all of our ideas, and hopefully these things will be added to the game soon. With that being said, Minecraft is remember the remember the rules. Don't be a hotel hypocrite, Roblox regent, or a Fortnite fool. Always be the best of all Minecraft master. Stay blocking.